In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a fillable form. So let's get started. And this is actually how it would look like. Um, but let's get a design first. And I promise you, this is going to be super quick. I'm not going to show you much of a design process whatsoever. So in Canva, if you go, you can just search for a planner. And planners usually have a lot of fields uh, already pre-made for you. So you just choose the one you like. Let's say I like this one. I like the look of it. We're looking for structure. We're not looking at what it says. We're going to change the text, so no worries. So this is free. I'm just going to choose it. And then I, you know what your fillable form is for. But let's say it's some prompts, uh, Sunday prompts or whatever, Friday prompts. So that's it. That's all it is. And now I can change all of this text and whatever the colors. I can even go here, go to style and just change it in a click of a button. Um, click again to just find the one I like. So we're going to do this super, super fast and super quick. Just need to find the one we like. So let's say I like this one. Then I just download this as a PDF. So I go to PDF standard and then download wait for it to download then we're gonna go to this uh, PDF escape website this is how it looks like um, I don't have Windows I'm using Mac so this is completely you know but this is what I choose the free online version it has a lot to offer uh, for what it is I'm gonna click upload PDF to PDF escape drag and drop to um, this window here and here I have my planner ready now how to make the first um, text box super easy we click form field text and select it and then add it here now if I choose this one it's just gonna have one line if I want to have multiple lines that they could just click enter and create more text I do need to choose text paragraph and what we do we choose text paragraph select and then just drag it where we need it to be now once you export the document let me just show you really quickly you click this icon here and then once we open it we are going to see these text fields that are blue and we can actually type it in so it kind of shows the person where to type in however if your design makes it clear for them where they need to type in then you maybe don't want this blue even though i kind of like this blue uh, it's a nice color and it's nice when i uh, so, so one thing for sure that you need to know is that when you move you want to move the object and let's say i turned on something if i click this i move the whole page but i can't move the object if i click this this is for the text so again uh, not really useful for me uh, i have to click here or press a command which is kind of weird to be honest uh to be honest but i just press here and then finally i can move the object so it's very useful to know this because i honestly in the beginning struggled with this a little bit so then i select whatever i need and what i can do is i can make it bigger smaller whatever i can change the text and this is another important thing i want to let you know is that when you start the document the first thing you need to do is to select the text you want there's not many options there for them this is the text that they're going to see when they're filling it out but still i feel like it's nice to have it i mean this one is horrible you can't even see anything but maybe some people like it i don't know maybe if we made it much bigger yeah no <laughs> i i'm not into this but maybe for a signature it does work um, I like Verdana, I like Courier a lot actually, so I'm kind of lucky here. And we're gonna um, make the text 16. So 16 is usually the text that's like very easily readable. So if that's what you're going for, that's what we're gonna do. But now as you can see, if I add a lot of text, it just adds it in one line. So not ideal. Um, if you have something like this, you can actually add it, uh, like you can just go crazy and it's going to add it as a paragraph. Now, uh, one thing to keep in mind is uh, that, as you can see, because I added this second before I chose the Verdana, it's in Arial. So again, first select the 
the the text, the the color of it, and that's it. Now, how to remove this green thing if we don't want, as I said, as I mentioned before, if we don't want this blue uh, appear here, if that's something you really don't like. We're going to select it, we're going to go here, and we're going to make it not visible. That's all you need to do. So now it's not visible, but it's still you can still write there. It's just um, you can't really see it. And we can also create multiple one text forms, which is nice. So I would just drag it, and then I would just drag another one. Um, and yeah, so one thing i will keep in mind i will let you, like to let you know is that because um because you created here there's not really much that helps you to create those perfect shapes so i personally would create this on canva for sure so basically all the squares or all the fillouts that i want uh, so that once i'm here all i'm left to do is to add the filler uh, the places to fill out the text or links. So another thing you can do is you can add a link to your website or your social media. So I'll just click this, click link, and then I would just click uh, and drag and create this form. And here I can either link it to a page. So you could actually create a planner with this, or I could link it to a different website with a URL or Instagram for that matter, that's also a possibility. Okay, and after this, uh, what I need to show you is all these other options. So you can create a checkbox, for example. So I have checkboxes here, and honestly, most of the stuff we're gonna create is gonna be in the form field. So I'm gonna just check it here, and then I'm gonna select and then I'm gonna choose whether it's a circle, a cross, diamond, square, or star. So let's say I want a star and I can click OK. So then it turns into a star. Okay, this dog <laughs> doesn't want to stop barking. Just really enjoying it. Okay, and last one, uh, we can maybe make it something else. So maybe it's gonna be a diamond or no, let's make it a square, okay. So here we have them and we can also choose whether they're pre-selected so um, or not. I think it's if you click on it, that means it's not pre-selected. Okay, mm, so that's that. And then you can obviously create a dropdown. So create the dropdown and then here we're gonna choose this and we're gonna write in the field option. So let's say it's Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, whatever. And make sure to write it like this. So add one option per line so that it's uh, visible. You can also choose sort options, uh, allow custom if you wanna allow custom and all that. Now let's download this. And then I'm gonna open it. And now, yeah, so as you can see, I told you before that if you don't select the checkbox, so basically if I deselect it uh, here, then once I export, it's not going to be seen. So it's not going to be pre-selected for them. So here, here I have them uh, ready. And this is the drop box. This is how it looks like. Really not not the most eye pleasing thing but if you need it you need it and yeah that's it i hope this is helpful if you have any questions whatsoever just let me know in the comments below and see you in the next video where hopefully the dog will not be barking the whole time